Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising! Rising to all of you beautiful people, this is your boy T. Keith Hawkins all the way here in Orlando, Florida. Listen, y'all, I'm very excited to be here on this platform to share the word of the Lord with you all. Um, listen, y'all, today we're going to be talking about warfare, just a little bit of warfare and where it stems from. And so um, I pray that this word blesses you. And uh, I'm excited about the word, y'all. So let's get to it. All right. God bless. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That word conform means to be subjected under to be subjected under. Like, don't subscribe to that. Don't follow that. Don't add that as a friend. Don't, don't conform to that. Don't conform to this world. That word world is never nothing outward. It's always what we engage in. Like, your job is a world. Your social media is a world. Your playlist is a world. Everything that you engage in it gives you the opportunity to become something, which is why we shouldn't conform, which is why, you know, we shouldn't subscribe. We shouldn't add it as a friend. We shouldn't follow it because it's teaching you what to become. And whatever you become is your responsibility. Now, as believers, we're going to see certain things. We're going to hear certain things. And some things we're going to have to engage in, like our job, our relationships, our business. Some things we're going to have to engage in. But whatever you become is your responsibility. Whatever you engage in wants you to become something, which is why the next line, it says, but be ye transformed. At least allow one of your engagements to renew, to restore, to revive your mind. Yeah, I don't care if you, like, if you got to listen to a word, a gospel song, or a, 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 a poem, whatever, whatever is going to renew, restore, and revive peace, joy, wisdom, um, at least allow one of your engagements to do, to do that. Like, don't just turn it on just to turn it on, because at that point, it's just noise. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Turn it on with the intentions of transitioning, turning. Why? Because some of our engagements can get heavy. Your job can get heavy. Your kids can get heavy. Your relationship can get heavy. You know what I'm saying? So like our engagements, if not one, both, or all three, it can get heavy sometimes, but we need that turning point. So like, don't just get off work and go straight home. No, no. Get off work and have that turning point. You know, we all like to process our day. However you process your day, however you process, you know, your emotions, because we're going to feel stuff. Yeah, we're going to feel it. But our job is not to become what we feel. That's different. So every day we need that transitional point. As soon as we encounter something unpleasing, you need to be able to grab it. It need to be at arm's reach so we can stay renewed, we can stay restored, and stay revived. And honestly, if we don't, we're going we, we're gonna to end up having warfare, unnecessary warfare. Why? Because all warfare does is fighting to become something. Warfare is fighting to become something. And it's all a part of what we engage in. So that's what I said. Make sure that one of your engagements is renewing, restoring, and reviving. 